Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship, and this week we're going to talk about null points. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So a null point is a point or points of a microphone that pick up the least amount of sound. Uh, this is really important to know because you can use this for better isolation, um, to avoid having to overgate something and get a lot of false triggers, uh, and especially to avoid feedback. Um, so what I have in my hands right now is a fairly standard um, vocal microphone for live usage. Um, this is a, a cardioid microphone, which I'm gonna show you an example of in a second here. Um, so looking at the screen, this is what a cardioid microphone's pickup pattern looks like. Um, so this is the front, this is the rear, and these are the sides. And what this is showing us is that this microphone picks up the most from the front, a little bit from the sides, but less in the front, and the very least from the rear of the microphone. So that's why when you have a, uh, a vocal microphone like this one, a cardioid microphone, um, you want it to be directly in front of your vocalist. They've got a little bit of room to move back and forth, but you want to be fairly close to the front. Um, and in this case, you can utilize the back of your microphone, which is your null point, because it picks up the least amount of sound. You can point that at the speaker if you have a live stage monitor, and that will help you to get um, less feedback going on. Um, so what I have here is I have a SM57. Um, this is a pretty standard microphone used for a lot of different instruments, particularly the snare drum. Um, really great microphone, very uh, versatile, um, and it's also a cardioid microphone. Um, so it, again, it picks up the most from the front, tiny bit from the sides, and the very least from the rear. Um, so when you're using this on, say, a snare drum, if you want to have less hi-hat bleed in your snare drum, what you do is you'll point the mic at the snare, but also point the rear of the microphone directly at the hi-hat, or whatever your loudest cymbal or whatever it is that's bleeding in, but usually it's gonna be the hi-hat. Same thing with tom drums, uh, if you're using 57, or maybe a Sennheiser uh, 604, you can point the back of the microphone at the cymbal that's closest to it, and that will help you to get less of those offending uh, other instruments coming in. Um, so just to kind of demonstrate this for you real quick, uh, I've got some pink noise that I'm gonna display on my phone. I'm just gonna rotate it around the microphone and you'll hear how the noise uh, comes and goes depending on where I'm positioned. So front, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 120 degrees, 180 degrees. Zero degrees, 45, 90, 120, 180. So use this to your advantage. Make sure that you're, uh, you're positioning your monitors in a way that's going to be uh, the least amount of feedback. Position your microphones so they're not picking up the things that you don't want to pick up. Before we end today, let me just show you a couple other options for different mics. It's important that you research your microphone and see what kind of pickup pattern it is. Um, we just talked about cardioid, which is this guy right here, and it's called cardioid because it kind of looks like a cartoon heart. Um, and again, that picks up the most from the front, the least from the back, a little bit from the sides. Um, there's also uh, super cardioid, which if you can see on here, uh, this one picks up um, a tighter pattern in the front, but that does come with a trade-off, meaning that it picks up a little bit in the back compared to a cardioid, um, but very little from the sides. So if you're using a microphone like this, um, like a good example would be like a Beta 87 by Shure, uh, you would not want the monitor right behind the speaker. You'd want it cocked slightly to the side so that it's shooting at these null points, and that'll help you again to get better feedback rejection. And then for today's purposes, the final example we'll look at is an omnidirectional microphone. It's not the Death Star, it's an omnidirectional microphone. And that one picks up fairly evenly all the way around the microphone. That's why it's called Omni, it's all. 
Um, and that's why in our uh, demonstrations we talked about earlier, it's really important to ring out a omnidirectional headset microphone or lavalier because they are very prone to feedback because there are no real null points for those mics. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful for you. Use this to your advantage. Have a great day. We'll see you next week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.